Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Still continuing in my love week, I am doing digital Bible journaling today. I'll be using my iPad Pro, an Apple Pencil, my iCloud, iPhoto, Magic Eraser, you see it on the screen, Good Notes 5, and a printable that I'll be using digitally. I'll explain a little bit more. For those of you who are new to my channel, I also do digital Bible journaling, which this method for me has been the easiest for me to do and if it's something that you're interested in I'll be glad to show you the process and if you want more I will be glad to do that so many ways to Bible journal the possibilities are endless just use your creativity and what works for you I found out that digital Bible journaling helps me when I'm on the go even though we're in a pandemic sometimes there are appointments we have to go to and then around the house I don't always have the time to sit down and Bible journal in a physical Bible. This helps me still meditate on his word, do some creative journaling, and then if I decide to do it in my Bible, the very same elements that I use digitally, I can just print out and put them physically in my Bible, which I have done also, which saves me a lot of time because I do homeschool my son. I do have some things that I do virtually for my church and just being a mom and a wife and my own personal life and studies and, and obligations. This just has saved me so much time and I can even sit in my bed and journal when thoughts come to me. You can't always just get up out of the bed and go sit down and journal, turning on lights and making noise, but in my bed I can quietly journal and meditate on his word and it has been so much help to me and that's it so thank you for watching and remember if i can bible journal so can you and this is my love week so today i'm doing digital bible journaling so as you can see there's so many ways that you can bible journal that fits you there's no right or wrong way to do it it's what works for you take care now let's watch this blank page turn into this Let me walk you through my process. This is Good Notes 5, and these are my digital journals that I do each month. And this is from Praise and Pray, her digital journal. I love it so much. This is a blank page, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my elements to this page. I'm using a two-page spread. And what you see right now happening is, this is a freebie from Vinavana Lee. And what I do is I go into Magic Eraser, and I have all of my photos there that I've taken a snapshot of, and I'm making them into a transparent background so that you don't see the white. I want to use some grass in this scene. So right now, I'm just doing the process of what you would do with like printing out your elements. So I'm making them a transparent background. These are the kits that I'm using from Illustrated Faith, and I'm going to put a couple of elements together from different kits from Illustrated Faith. I'm pulling it up right now. This is from the Faithful Heart Shop. I want to use Jesus. So what a, what I love about digital Bible journaling is I can pick and choose elements from all different shops and put them together on one page. And that's great. And I can also print them out and make a Bible journaling page, which like I said, I do a lot. So I want some one of these Jesus's <laughs> colors and I'm, I'm making everything transparent. So that's the process right now. And all you do, all I'm doing is I'm clicking this little wand at the bottom and then I click the screen until it changes to that checkerboard background. From that point, I am able to, what we would do, cut and paste or cut and glue. So right now it's just a setup. Once you get the hang of it, you do it like clockwork. And now I'm going to go into my digital journal and I'm starting to set my scene. And I will be using John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. And let me read that verse quickly. Jesus says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. I'm going to get into the scripture in a minute. I'm going to continue to explain the process and so you can see how everything unfolds. This is my scripture. I am in my digital Tinsdale. I think it's like a digital Bible. And I copied and pasted John chapter 13 verses 34 and 35. And once I, you see the little blinking cursor, 
Once you press on that, you're able to paste whatever writings that you want, or you can type it yourself. I paste it and it has to be, if you look up top, you'll see a little letter T that's blue. I'm using that that's for typing or text. So I'm using that and I'm selecting all so that I can change my font. And it's very self-explanatory and I want to change the size. So I'm trying to determine what size I want based on the elements I will have on that page. I can fill it up. I can make it very tiny. I can fill the page with elements, a background. So there's a lot of ways that you can do it and really make a beautiful page digitally and you have it for you wherever you go. You can do it on my phone. I can do it on my iPads. I can do it on my computer. It really doesn't matter. And I love Magic Eraser. It's like the best. So now, as you can see, I'm building my scene. Everything is transparent. So what I'm doing now is I change it to the little square up top where you see like a moon and grass. That's to set your scene. And I pull in the elements that I want. It brings in the whole page, but then I click a little square and I can crop it and I can use the rectangle or freehand draw. I like to freehand draw most times if the elements are not squared. And then I just resize it to where I want it to go. That's the general process. Once you've made everything transparent, you go in and you pull in all of the elements that you want and you can build your page. And if you don't like it, you can always delete it and do something else. So I'm pulling in the Jesus that I want. I want that color right there. So I'm tracing around it. It cuts out. There's a little black line there, but that's okay. You won't really see it. And I want him on that side of the page. And that's the general process. It doesn't change for me. And I can just do it. And I can do it quickly. And it doesn't take a lot of time once you get it. As you can see, I'm hitting the crop. And I'm slowly going around my edges. So that's the general process. And you'll see that as time goes on. So I'm going to get into the scripture now. And if you have any questions, please put them in the description box below and or email me at wholeheartedlyforthelord at gmail.com. And right here, you can see the color wheel. I'm just changing it to kind of match the Jesus and the also the, the envelope. I'm trying to get the colors to match. And the color wheel really works great because you can see the colors change to the color that you want to use, if that makes sense. I love the fact that because we are born again, the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts to know him and to have the love of Christ in us as his children and also for us to be able to love people. I'm, I'm, I'm baffled by that. We have the power to love people who do not love us. We can sincerely hope for good, pray for our enemies. We can love those that persecute us. We can love those who don't like us. We can love those who say all manner of evil against us. That's so much power. The world loves those who love them back. The world respects those who respect them back. But Jesus gave us a new way to look at this thing. He gave us the power to love people. And if we are really honest with ourselves, we are not the most lovable people in the world. And we had the greatest enmity between us. And that was between us and God. That was the biggest problem. And if a holy God who is righteous and just can love unloving people surely we can love people who look just like us how can we say we love God whom we have never seen and hate our brothers who we see every day in the text here Jesus says I give you a new commandment it's not one that they have never heard before but Jesus was making a, an emphasis because the Jews at that time thought that because of their position their rituals their clothes their knowledge they thought that those things made them disciples of God, made them more spiritual and as if they knew God and other people didn't. We know how that is. We can, we can fast forward to people in church who feel that because they sit in the pulpit, because they sit on a board, because they have what they think is longevity in the church, that they have an upper hand on people. And when I say that I'm not disrespecting our pastors, we are to honor our pastors. I understand that and I respect and honor my pastor. What I'm saying is there are people in the body of Christ who feel like other people don't have a right to 
be a part of an organization or say anything or do anything. And Jesus comes right down the line and he says, people will know that you are my disciples when you love one another. It's not how well we can exegete a text. It's not how well we can explain a scripture. It's not where we sit in the church. It's not our clothes. It's not what we look like. This pandemic, all of that stuff has been cut out. Choirs, the robes, the hats, the clothes, the pretense, the positions. When we walk around now, people will only know us by the love that we have one for another. And Jesus said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. When you have love for one another, that is the great divide in this world. We don't love one another, but we as born again children, we have that power and that excites me. I know that I have a power in me because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So people who hate me or people who despise me, I can sincerely love them and pray for them if I walk in the Spirit and allow the Spirit of God to transform my heart and my mind and get past my feelings and my emotions and know that I stand for Christ and I will love you even though you hate me. And that's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. And that's all I wanted to share with you guys, the love of Christ. We can love one another. People will know you've been with Christ when you love one another. I hope you were inspired and encouraged by this command for us to love one another and watch me as I digitally Bible journal this page.